Well, you can see the interest of the French press in what's going on. In the Elysee Palace behind me there, the economy minister, Emmanuel Macron, is at this minute presenting his resignation to President Hollande. It's a big story here in France, but it's a big story around the world too, because Emmanuel Macron has become perhaps one of the most recognizable figures in the French government. He's young, he's fresh-faced, he looks like the boy at the top of the class, and he's a social and economic liberal, and that's the key point. Since he came to his ministerial post a couple of years ago, he's pioneered, or at least tried to pioneer, a number of measures to open up the French economy. He's been partially successful, but increasingly he's run into opposition from parts of the government. Francois Hollande, one of them. There's, there's been growing tension, and now he's decided to hand in his resignation. The key point, of course, is that we are now eight months from a presidential election. So does this mark uh, Emmanuel Macron's bid to enter the presidential race? Well, that's the big question.